<laughs> that ass because I right feel now. like I'm gonna be abandoned right now, and like you're just like everyone else who tried to fucking leave me, and I just don't know. Leave what you. Saying. You made a decision you're and you got caught. Me. Decision to do what? Like, you linked somebody and you got caught. It wasn't even that you went serious. Behind my back it wasn't that serious. Stop. Stop. He was a hooper. Stop. He, was a hooper. He, was a hooper. he played basketball. Yes, <laughs> but it wasn't that serious. Like y'all like actually. Yeah, like, but it was just the one time thing, and we used protection. It was even for that long. So I don't even know why you're bugging. Like, it was not even for that long. Like, can you please come back with me? Please? Get off of me. Please come don't back. Me. Like, stop. <laughs> just please. Like, you're overreacting. I'm not overreacting. I only thing. did it because you didn't answer your fucking phone. Like, you never answer your phone. And you're never Bro, there you for me. You you're know what I'm doing. never I'm there the for me. You want gym? gym. What gym are you at? You know what like, what gym at? opens that? Like, you're a fucking liar. Okay. Like, you, you don't even care all about right, me at all. All right, all right, all right. How long was this going on for? Like, though? for a month, but it wasn't even that serious. Did you, did you rebound from? Yeah, but... Yeah. Why are you right, asking gonna... me that? What the crap I can tell you? Like, where are you going? You do not leave me. She got her cheeks busted by some Chad or Tyrone, and she has the nerve to say he is overreacting. It wasn't a big deal either. She even said it was okay because she was protecting herself. Why did she cheat on him anyway, since he doesn't answer the phone? Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna see modern woman hit the wall hard. Let's start right away. Hey, I like you. Yeah, I like you too. Do you want a date? No, ew, that's disgusting. I just want to do everything that people in a relationship would normally do, but I just want to stay friends. Okay, well, I'm going to see other people then. What? I thought you liked me. I do, but you're not ready for a relationship, and I am. But I still want to do everything that people in a relationship do. What don't you understand? I just don't want a label. I don't like labels. This is what we have available right now. People like Chad's and Tyrone don't want to be in a serious relationship because of hookup culture. They can get all the perks of being in a relationship without being in one. They don't like being responsible, accountable, committed, respected, or accountable. Gentlemen, please, I beg of you, stop saying cute, forward-looking stuff to us on a first date. Number one, women remember everything. Number two, women believe you when you say it. No joke, I've been on first dates recently where a guy said to me, will you be my girlfriend? Another guy said to me, this date is going really well, but I think the potential of us is even greater. And the worst, the worst of all of them, a guy asked me to go IKEA furniture shopping with him. That is like, that is like emotional cocaine to a woman. Please, stop leading us on. It is clear that going after Chad and Tyrone led to this. Then she complains that they only tell her what she wants to hear. But now she knows that what they say doesn't mean anything. She should have known this because those guys will tell her what they think she wants to hear to get what they want instead of going after what they really want. She should date guys who are already her friends. They're not going to trick her. Why don't you stop believing things that are obviously not true instead of telling guys what to say? Right, this is date number 3,726. I'm out of breath. I'm late. But two minutes, it's okay. And look, we know how this is going to go. I'll probably never see him again. But this one is actually Irish, so let's see. So the date, he was lovely, tall, great chat, really decent. We had a kiss. And honestly, I was like expecting fireworks, nothing. And today, one of my friends was like, how did you feel after it? I was like, I felt dead inside the way that I feel after every date. My mom today was like, Ashling, this is a you problem. I'm like, I'm well aware, Mary. I'm well aware that it's a me problem. It's not. Go have one of these. I think she has trouble bonding with a partner because kisses and other shows of affection make women feel like they're getting a small dose of oxytocin. She may feel dead inside, but that's because she was put through too much. Uh, the rest of y'all, rest of them, right? Either they, they cheating currently, then cheated on their wives before, prior, like just gonna have a cheating history. How do you like keep up? Like, how are we gonna, where's the hope? Where's the hope for mankind? Cause I'm not seeing it, okay? I'm not seeing it. I'm not, okay? You know, and then on these dating apps, right? Guys, 
explain to me why do y'all like a page right y'all get matched and then y'all don't say nothing do y'all expect the girl to say something and message you first no we match you start the conversation not me because i also just feel like at the same time it's not rocket science it's not rocket science like but mm, y'all it's the wild wild west like what's the point like y'all emotionally unavailable y'all ghosting y'all don't have y'all stuff together y'all cheat like where they at where the real ones at and i'ma just until he come y'all rest of y'all just leave me alone okay don't tell me you only want chad and tyrone he got a better match on a dating app if he didn't text her after getting a match she should know this the young women of today are putting themselves in a very tough spot they all want the same kind of guys but it looks like they don't know that there isn't enough chad for all of them she should look at some guys again she swiped left because she thought it would help her find someone how you doing hey you are gorgeous by the way thank you you look fine yourself thank you all right so i gotta ask what's up ask me anything do you have a job yes make it six figures yes and do you live alone or with your parents live by myself mm, so you ain't got no roommates no no roommates or anything oh, okay good because i can't be wasting my time with anyone less than a boss period i hear you i respect that definitely what about you you got a job i mean i mean i just started my only fan so it's about to be up it's getting there okay well do you live with your parents i mean i live with a couple friends but like i'm about to be up so it's getting there okay well, how's your credit at least because how you gonna get your own spot you got good credit I'm, my dad about to help me with that but like it's getting there Okay. What? What happened? Uh, you're getting out. <laughs> Excuse me? You're getting out. You talking about all this value stuff and you can't even value yourself? Man, man. Right. I'm looks ain't everything. The heck? If all of these things are important to you, you should be able to bring the same to it. We don't understand each other because they asked for too much. On the other hand, they can't give them half of what they want. You talk a lot about worth, but you don't value yourself. That line hit me right in the middle. She doesn't want a boyfriend or girlfriend. She needs a meal ticket. The things that most women expect are higher than what they actually live. Huge crush on this guy in one of my classes. When I say a huge crush, I mean like I'm pining after this dude for months, for the entire semester. I am staring at the back of this dude's head thinking, that's my husband. I'm too shy and I have negative riz to just go up and start talking to him, right? I just decided, you know what? I'm gonna write my number on a sticky note and just give it to him. And then my professor gets sick. Now my professor was sick for like a solid month because we left for Thanksgiving break and then we didn't come back to that class until the day of our final exam. I have an entire month of not seeing this guy because we don't have class. And you know what they say, distance makes the heart grow fonder. That is very true. Sitting, waiting to take the final exam, I'm sitting like in the lobby of the building on the couch and the guy comes and sits right in front of me, right in front of me and I'm like, oh my God, this is my moment this is my time this is my super bowl like this is what i've been waiting four months for i write my number on the sticky note he gets up to leave and i give him the sticky note so i hand him the sticky note he opens it he laughs and he's like okay i just won the fucking lottery i have reached the promised land so we go in we take the exam he finishes the exam before me. I get out of the exam. I see a text from him. I'm overjoyed. We start talking, ha ha and kicking. The vibes are good. The vibes are good. Mind you, this was the days of mask mandates and having to wear a mask to class. So he couldn't really see what I looked like because he never really paid attention to me and I was wearing a mask. I knew what he looked like because I fucking stalked him on Instagram. But after like a day or two, he's like, hey, I never really got a good look at you. Like send me a picture. And I'm like, cool. I send him a photo. He stops fucking responding. When I tell you I've never wanted to yeet myself off the top of a building more, I was mortified, I was embarrassed, I was ashamed. I literally have never felt embarrassment like that in my entire life. Especially because I was like, yes, I've made it. Like I pulled my crush, I was so fucking excited. Dude thought I was ugly. So anytime you ever feel bad about your dating life, don't. Because nothing is more embarrassing than that.
Everyone was hiding their faces at the time so he could only see her eyes. He thought to himself, as soon as he saw her face, this happens all the time to men who are trying to talk to a woman before she sees them. Once the woman knows, the men stop responding. It's impossible for these women to understand how hard it is for guys to date and pursue. And the way dating works these days, it's easy to see why guys have given up on dating modern women. As always, if my brand of humor tickles your funny bone, why not show some love by hitting that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching the new video, and until next time, goodbye.